New York is a place where you have to have a lot of side hustles. Uh, one job I had in New York was I was a real estate agent. Uh, yes, we are a very well-loved demographic <laughs> in the city, really bringing communities together. And uh, has anyone here had the privilege of working with a broker? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry. Uh, we get the same love as New Testament tax collectors. <laughs> but I, you know, you have to look at things from the other side. So when I was a broker, I would hear, you know, I would try to move really uh, diverse and talented and worldly people into Brooklyn. Most of them came from Ohio. And uh, I'd try to move them in to Brooklyn and they would ask me questions that they could answer with their eyes. You know, they'd say, Gabe, I really love these hardwood floors. I really love this exposed brick, but could you be honest with me? Could you be straight? Is this neighborhood safe? Is this safe? Which is really just code for, I'm racist. <laughs> I'm very, very racist. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Do you see white people eating eggs on the sidewalk? Yeah. <laughs> Brunch is in full effect in this neighborhood. It is safe. <laughs> Is it safe? And I think movies make New York seem scary. But really, it's only in movies that New York even has alleys. <laughs> I mean, New York is full of like a lot of, hey, I'm alley, but like there aren't. In movies, you turn the wrong corner in New York and you hear like the switchblade click and somebody with a mohawk's like, give me your fanny pack. <laughs> but in reality, you turn the wrong corner and you hear the pen click and somebody with a clipboard's like, hey, do you have time for the environment? <laughs> oh, no, I don't, okay, I'm a sucker, here you go. Just getting robbed every day by Greenpeace. 